Reach It are experts in water-fed pole manufacturing. Every pole is designed, engineered, tested, and delivered to maximize your efficiency and your safety as a professional window cleaner. And let us show you the process with a factory walkthrough. The first step is to cut the carbon fiber. Now this needs to be done very accurately so you'll see that we use a guillotine. Now we quality control the precision cut carbon fiber. Now this all takes time so let me explain what these sheets are. The carbon fiber is strands of carbon about the same as the thickness of the human hair. They are either woven or straight and are bound together with resin like epoxy resin, like two-part resin. And then that is formed into sheets and these sheets are then laid out for wrapping around the pole. Every carbon fiber tube is wrapped around a steel rod. In the industry we call them mandrels and to make lots of poles we need lots of steel rods. Now the process gets a little bit more interesting. The operator puts the stainless steel rod onto the rolling machine and attaches the carbon fiber prepreg sheet. Now you'll see this is a big piece of sheet, so it's going to wrap round and round. Then he's going to manually attach a small piece of carbon fiber on each end. And that's because when this comes off the mandrel, off the steel rod later, it's going to have a big impact from hydraulics. And so they need to reinforce the ends of the carbon fiber tube and then the rolling machine will roll that tube and compress it so that it's perfectly round. Now the final layer is often a woven surface to give more protection to the pole. So this is a smaller piece and then you'll see the operator just wind that around and the machine will accurately create a seam. And now this pole is finished and ready for the next stage. To make this clearer, let's have a look at this on a bigger steel rod. There goes your 3K woven surface and there goes your carbon fibers. So the machine will roll this and get the perfect seam. And now with the finished carbon fiber on the steel rod, we go to the wrapping machine. Now this machine is really interesting. This is heat proof tape, which is really wound onto the carbon fiber with a huge amount of pressure and binds it together and gets it ready for the oven and in the oven it's going to get cooked real hard and now it's time to make the carbon fiber rigid so this is an autoclave or a huge oven and inside you can see the steel rods with the carbon fiber fabric bound together with the heat proof tape now the difference after cooking as to how rigid these poles will become is actually determined by the composition of the carbon fiber that we wrapped around the steel rod. So there's high modulus carbon fiber and ultra high modulus carbon fiber and there's actually still normal carbon fiber. We cook the carbon fiber tubes at 130 degrees Celsius or 270 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour and then we cook them for another 30 minutes at 90 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the tube is cooked we need to take it off the steel rod so have a look at this guy he's just taken one off the steel rod there and this is a huge hydraulic jack with seven tons of pressure and it's returning the steel rod now he's going to put that away ready for another tube and he's grabbing another one and he's going to hook it up to the to the hydraulic jack as soon as he does that it'll reverse and pull and you'll see him actually pulling the steel rod now out of the carbon fiber tube and once that's fully out, he's got himself a tube and a steel rod ready to make another tube. Right there. And now we have to remove that high pressure heat resistant tape. And this is how we do it. So this guy is just gonna pull away at this. Until he's finished. And what we have at the end is a carbon fiber tube that's highly rigid, 
beautifully presented, but it still has these little fine lines on it. Now those fine lines are made of resin, which is relatively soft, and they need to be removed for a professional water-fed pole. And that means we've got to use a precision instrument like this great big machine here is a sanding machine. And we're gonna sand those fine lines off so that we get the perfect surface for a clamp to grip on. And you know with Reach It, we are completely committed to this process. So here you can see is how we actually sand the outside diameter of every Reach It water-fed pole tube to within one hundredth of a millimeter, which is one twenty-five hundredth of an inch and that's the accuracy which gives us that beautiful smooth sound and a long-lasting non-wearing water-fed pole and the quality control is exactly precise so that was 25 millimeters in metric and now you'll see as he turns it it's confirmed at 24.99 one twenty-five hundredth of an inch difference now it's this final finishing this sense of care that separates Reach It from other manufacturers. Because we know your tool is going to last you for five or ten years. Each tube handcrafted, precision made, and that's why professionals buy Reach It.